I got a little more. <laughs> I got a little motion on the Capricorn video, y'all. My nose is still a little runny. You know, dried up tears in there. <laughs> so we're going to be jumping in and starting with you here today, Aquarius. I'm going to jump right in and see what messages we have for you. God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and concise messages for the sign of Aquarius. Let's just see what we have for Aquarius. Using oracle cards to this week. My spirit animal oracle. I love this. This is the first deck of cards I ever bought, y'all. Trying to get into it. Electric eel spirit, the hummingbird. Well, let me just go through them after I, after I get done laying them down. So, Aquarius, we got electric eel spirit on. I just feel like this should be your energy. You all electric and shit? No. Not unless I get mad. Uh. Just playing. Okay, bring your ideas to life. So there's some type of idea coming to life. It's like an electric electric spark, you know? Like a power, like an um, electrical current. Yeah, like that. And it just comes through and gives you some power, some energy, and you just get moving. Okay, yeah, because I feel like you're bringing some type of idea to life, but you're inspired and you're enthusiastic about it, okay? Okay, the hummingbird spirit you're being here and you're being now. And... We got the rhino says overcoming any obstacle. Oh, I love this. The ill spirit has made you fierce. It's like you, you coming through. Oh, look at him. I'm looking a little cut, ain't I? Damn. I don't want to look like them big muscle building women. Okay. Anyway, back to the point. You got some energy in you. Like an electric current is just pushing you through. You persevering, coming through. Full, full speed like the Flash. I got an energy. They told me the, the Flash. You know the, the Flash guy to be just flying through everything. Yeah. You're being here and now you're overcoming obstacles. You got this energy about you where you're like, you know what? This is who I am. This is my song and I'm going to sing it. So that just lets me know that you're standing in your power here. You're owning the fuck out of it. Clearing out clutter. Whatever don't serve you. You got to go. And you're giving with gratitude and grace. So you're giving and you're taking and you're clearing shit out. Uh -huh. I like it. I like it. I like this. Whatever this electric ill spirit is for you. And you riding your own way, doing your own thing. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm always choking here. <coughs> Somebody be smoking on that. <coughs> I smoke in all the videos, but I, <coughs> I always cough here. Canary Spirit is about singing their own song, doing their own thing. Saying, this is how I want my song to be. This is how I want my song to sing. sound. This is how I'm going to do it. So you bring your ideas in life and you are owning something here. Now you're clearing out whatever's in your way. You are grateful. You're, and you're, you know, you have grace and gratitude and you're just pushing through, overcoming any obstacle that gets in your way. I like it. Here and now, clearing. it could be something that you're clearing out too. What is the clearing out? Something's getting cleared out. Let's, let's start there, shall we? So I'm about to clear out the clutter. For Aquarius, preparing is what I'm hearing. You're preparing for something. Somebody's preparing for something. They're clearing out their clutter here because it's something that. They, oh, okay, the clutter. Okay, the heart clutter, heart chakra clutter. Okay, I see. Okay, one more. Okay, number three. Somebody's preparing to go in for a second chance. Dang, these same three cards came out on Capricorn. Right here next to it. On what card was that? Dang, that's funny. Heart space is what the clutter is. Three of swords. Somebody's cleaning. Somebody's paused to reflect here. That's what that is. And they see something. And because they see something, they're cleaning it up. Okay, so I see you down. Okay, all right, I see what you mean. My heart is a little... I see that it is a little... 
pierced up right there and it is a little bloody and it is a little hurt okay i see what you were saying i paused to, took some time to reflect on it okay i can see what you were saying and i'm gonna peel it i'm gonna we're gonna start over i'm about to work with the universe to help balance it out because i can see how i've been deceiving myself i can see how i've been deceiving myself so somebody's clearing out their heart space somebody's clearing out deception somebody's clearing out hurt somebody's clearing out the past all out of their heart space in order to have a new relationship to be here now in the current relationship to be open to be vulnerable and to have nothing in their way somebody is overcoming a huge obstacle here a huge obstacle kudos to fucking you okay because they want they look at this somebody wants a new chance they're having all the they're putting mustering up all the strength all the courage they can find and they're closing out a fucking cycle because they've completed healing that's what they're completing Aquarius, I do feel like this person is you or this is somebody could doing it in order to be with you or doing it in order to be their best selves because you make them better or something. I don't know. If they're doing it, it's got something to do with you if it's not you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They're part of your journey or something. This is probably supposed to go. I don't know. For a lot of you, I feel like it could be a male Aquarius that I'm talking to that is getting this force here. Or there's a female Aquarius that a male Aquarius is getting it. I mean, a female Aquarius that a masculine is getting this force behind. I'm like, I need to be here for now. I need to be here right now. I need to be here now for her. I need to show up. She says she want to sing her song like this. And this is how I need to be. Well, not like change yourself for somebody. But, you know, basically somebody to lay the ultimatum down. Like, you just look. They call that bluff. You see what I'm saying? Like they say, like I told them to. Somebody did anyway. And that's why, because they knew that you had a poker face on, they coming through like an eel. And they got an electric ass current. So you won't get, you better move the fuck out the way or get you on, you either getting on my team or you getting shocked. Because I'm shocking you the fuck out the way. No? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Somebody electric eel spirit. Poor Aquarius. No, <laughs> motherfuckers is not playing tonight. It's the masculine. He's not playing. He's coming and he's coming quickly. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's not what I meant. So somebody's moving forward. Chariot, fast forward movement. That's why I said, and the King of Wands taking action. He already moving about business. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's taking action. They're moving forward and they're moving fast. With the electric spirit energy behind the ass, they are moving. Knight of Wands charging in. A death card on the bottom. King of Pentacles. The Hermit. The Moon. What is this, Aquarius? Look at that. Death card. Aquarius, you done put an end to the King of Pentacles. Maybe a Virgo. Because you don't trust. You know, it's too many secrets. Okay? Uh, or maybe somebody else. Somebody's moving. I don't know if it's this masculine here. It could be one of two things. The masculine is pers persevering forward because he needs to be somewhere. And he feel like it needs to be here and now. Okay, so he's been trying to hurry and heal his heart space and get somewhere. Okay, but I do feel like there is a feminine. I could just I feel the energy of this. So there's going to be one or two feminines out there. That is the one that has this electric spirit. They're moving away from a masculine. Trying to heal from him. Why? Because she has found out about a Virgo. I feel like. King of Pentacles. Don't have to be a Virgo. It could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. But I feel like she's found out this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Pentacles man has got some type of secret here. And that secret is a Queen of Pentacles. A wife. A fucking relationship. Uh, or he's... What is this? Look. Page of Wands and the Emperor. Okay. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. So, Aquarius, all this time, the Capricorn in your video be old, the old person? For some of y'all, it is. So, it's like, okay, the Emperor sees, he, he wants something new now. Emperor, right? Page of Wands. He's inspired to take new action. For what? Union. Because, look, he looked back on the past, he thought about it. Took him a while, but here he is showing up with the pinnacle. Aquarius energy. He's either showing up to give that energy to, that pinnacle to an Aquarius, or he's showing up to be the Aquarius that gives that pinnacle. Because... Closing the cycle here. Yep, that's nope, that's one story right there. That's exactly what's happening. This is Aquarius man is. This is an Aquarius man who took a long time, but he's finally showing up. But if he's not an Aquarius man, he's a man. 
a masculine energy, whether you're an Aquarius or you not Aquarius, you're showing up for it, Aquarius. It took you a while to show up for somebody. That's what it is. Somebody's trying to, somebody's been healing their heart space so they can actually be here now. And they're taking charge this week. Damn it. I've been healing and I'm ready. They got an electric current in their ass where they just whoosh, going to get the Empress. Now, there's a woman, Aquarius, out here that is closing the cycle here. She's closing the cycle with a person because she is cold out there, damn it. It's cold. She's tired of being left out there. She's tired of him not showing up, so she's putting an end to it. That's why this man is coming, right? This is what all of this. So, this is just two different parts of the story. So, this is the part where a woman is finally just now putting her foot down and cutting the man out. That's what's going to cause him to take a leap of faith but a lot of this this part here what we talking about this is the man taking that leap of faith because that aquarius woman cut him out and he realized he can't fucking be without her so it just depends on what part of the story you at everybody's at different stages of their life but we all going through the same shit so this plus some aquarius are at the part where they just now gonna cut that man off because they tired of being left out in the cold and some aquarius have gotten tired of being left out in the cold cut the motherfucker off and here he come charging in because he needs to show up. But not only that, he's charging in and been working on the heart space. He's been doing all this to work on the heart space, okay? Somebody hummingbird spirit, be here now. This is what this is what this masculine energy is. Um it's something going on right here. He feel like he need to be there. He need to be there now. He he's antsy, he's rushing, you know? It's like he feel like he's running out of time or something. Definitely his energy. He's running out of time to have this relationship, to have his his wishes fulfilled. He needs to find the courage, the strength to come in and offer this pentacle. He needs to do it now. So he's going to do it. He's going to overcome obstacles. There's some obstacles that this masculine is dealing with, but his his, his third eye, I feel like, is on point. See that? Tell me about this overcoming any obstacles here. The rhino spirit. Okay, so now I understand here. I feel like this, the top is all masculine energy up here. But I feel like here, this is masculine energy entwined with the feminine energy. See, it's down on her side, but she's the one singing her own song. She's the one requiring that a healed heart come in here. If you're going to be with me, you're going to have to clear out that clutter. You're going to have to be healed. Okay? And when he heals, she's going to be great, grateful. She's going to give him grace. So that's what it is. The emperor is healing it up. He's clearing his heart space because he actually does want to be with this empress. And he knows that if he wants to be with this empress, he has to clear out that heart space in order to offer her this pinnacle. So he's been doing it. But he's been feeling like he is in a rush. So he's been doing it, though. But look what come out. Tell me what come out. Uh, overcoming obstacles. Yeah, it's been taking him a while, but he's doing it. Fast communication, fast movement, travel. Something's coming in here. I feel like it's a communication from the emperor. You know what it is? He really does want this victory. So in order to have the victory, the Empress already put her foot down on what she requires in her life. She's singing her own song with the Canary Spirit. And the Emperor's going to have to get on her wave if he wants to ride it. Because after all, he is the one who needed to heal. If he needed to heal, that means he possibly already heard her feelings in the past. Which is how they got to this ultimatum in the first place. Right? Okay. So the Emperor's saying, well, damn. I do want the victory. Let me fucking communicate it. Let me get on here. Let me clear out the hard space. Let me do what the fuck this Empress is telling me I got to do. Because I don't like a motherfucking woman telling me what to do. But I love her. And I can't let her go. <laughs> Type of shit. You know. What's the strength card for the masculine energy? I need to know about the strength card, please. The lovers. He wants the connection. The strength card is him mustering, taking all his tools and just doing it. So go be in a lover's connection. Tell me about the strength card. Yeah, he's been healing, growing up, being a mature man. He need to come tell you, hey, I'm ready to start this thing and the lover's connection. Tell me about the lover's. I'm ready to start this thing. All right, <laughs> ma'am, madam, empress, the emperor will see you now. No, you mean the empress will see, you know, I'm young. I meant that backwards. My, the sir, the empress will see you now. <laughs> tell me about the lover's. Tell me again, I bet we'll be lovers and friends. Oh, it's a good look, baby. 
Uh oh, somebody about to be friends and lovers. A message coming in about on the lovers connection. There's a message coming in about the great fortune. Yes, because the lovers it's great fortune. Okay, marriage cards. Something start something up new, and it might be somebody might even be talking about time getting stowed and person somebody sorry that they took more than they gave and now they want to be official la 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 something about this emperor whoa emperor wow Five hundred, Alex. Five hundred. <laughs> false person, Emperor. You was a false person, Emperor. You couldn't be who you truly were because your heart space was too hurt. So it didn't allow you to be vulnerable. It didn't allow you to be vulnerable. So now, guess what you did? You was concerned about that, right? Concerned. Somebody was concerned. Concerned that, look at you now, wealthy man on the bottom. Somebody's concerned. Wealthy man was concerned that it was going to be over with the coffin card. So guess what? Concerned. She's going to end it with me because I was a false person. Because I was toxic. Oh my God. Bad health. Oh God. I realized I got childhood wounding. Family. Bad health in the family room. Okay? Somebody had childhood trauma and maybe even trauma from a last relationship but the facts did line up that they were in fact a false person and they could not deny this from themselves any longer okay so reportedly the aquarius got up and they healed themselves the, the masculine the masculine whether he was an aquarius or he wasn't he got up and he healed himself and he headed straight for the empress who was a feminine could have been an aquarius and it could have been another sign okay but that's what he did and that's what happened no I play too much. Damn, that's some good weed right there. They got me tripping. <laughs> okay, I'm getting serious again. So anyway, he's coming in. He wants to do the pathway and he wants to bring a gift. Hoping that the Empress will bring him in. But I do feel like, look, he's coming in with giving gratitude. He's got that gift and he's happy. Now, something about this canary. This is the Empress energy here. Or this, that's probably the Empress. I meant to say this is the feminine energy, but Empress. She's the Empress. If the emperor is doing all this, he ain't doing it for nobody less short of the empress. You hear me? Yeah. Child, she decided it's, it's a new beginning here. You getting you rolling with me or you getting rolled over. But look at that. She just, she knows she wants the lovers, but she knows how it should be. And yeah, I want this new beginning with you, but not if you're not going to heal. So guess what? Boop. Here I am. Heal. You still want me? Says the masculine. <laughs> Message of concern. She sends out a message to say, yeah, I love you, and I want to start new, and I want to be in this lover's connection, but not if you don't heal. So now that's a concern message. So now the man's thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. He's like, shit, damn, shit, shit. If, if I don't, do I got, I got to heal? You know, that's probably not the easiest thing for a masculine to do. So he's like, shit, do I let this go or do I, what do I do? Now he's sitting in despair and shit, but he got his ass up. He got up and he started working and he started fixing on himself and well, look at him now. Talking about the... Give the gratitude and grace. Yeah, he decided to go with the unexpected income pile after he thought about it a little bit in despair from the empress. He decided he's gonna go for pile. He was gonna go for unexpected income for a thousand, please, Alex. <laughs> Jeopardy, <laughs> somebody Jeopardy. That's why I said it's funny. I was just saying, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'll take unexpected income for a thousand. <laughs> Talk about this uh, give gratitude and grace. <laughs> uh, I'll take the future with the Empress, please, Alex. <laughs> I'll take the sun card and a happy ever after with eagle give and take, please, Alex. Over the ten of swords where she's leaving me behind, please, Alex. <laughs> Jeopardy. Y'all playing Jeopardy in this bitch now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I want to name the bitch Jeopardy so bad, but I know I don't want. I do, I do, I want to. Talking about the lovers and the child. The masculine could be a, a, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Don't have to be. He could be a Gemini, shit. Be a uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Look at that divine feminine energy here. There she is. The Empress can't come out because she over here already, but she can come sit here again. She's saying, look, okay, look at this. That's what she's saying. That's what she said. That's what I said. I can't make this show look. Look here, baby. This is the Empress. This is this is the divine feminine energy, right? Okay, look here, baby. I do want to be with you, right? Uh -huh. I know exactly what I want. I'm fierce. I'm bold. I'm inspired. I'm taking action, right? I would love, love to have this new beginning with you in the twin flame, okay? 
I would love nothing more than it to not let this end. But what I can't do is hold on to burdens of a person that is emotionally unavailable. Who emotionally is not going to speak about how they feel. They're not going to. I can't do this. Okay. Emperor. I can't. So that's what she said. And she put them burdens down. Then boom. Mr. Emperor started healing, 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 healing. Then he rushed in motherfucking off of the pinnacle. What you going to do to stay and don't go? I don't know. I just be making shit up. There you go. They go to masculine. Coming in trying to heal some shit up. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Could be a Virgo. Ooh. Please don't go. Oh. <laughs> he don't want you to go. Let's see. Do I need to clarify anything else so I get up out of here? <laughs> Do I? So I got a good concept and a good name. We got the king and the queen of wands. We got the emperor and the empress. King and the queen of swords on the bottom. Well, all right. So I think that's enough. Well, that's enough for the day. But I do want to know about this gift. To my gift. The gift is going in the calmer waters. Talk about the gift. Finding a resolution for the problem is what I'm hearing. I can't breathe you when you talk to me. Stressed out now. But I want a higher level of commitment with you, baby. Somebody could be dealing with a tourist. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Don't have to be. Somebody could definitely be dealing with this at the chairs. Now that I think about it, this is right on top of the pile of wire. All the healing is taking place. And you know Aquarius, y'all. In the set, y'all pop up in Sagittarius reading a lot. If you don't come and watch it, you do. If you mess with an Aquarius, you come across watch sometimes. I mean, uh, Sagittarius. Because they always got uh, Aquarius coming out. So, just tell me about this King of Cups. Let's tell, about, tell me about that real quick before we get up out of here. It's already uh, 22 minutes. Eight of Swords, yep. This is the person. Tell me about the King of Cups. <clears throat> the King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like, look, that's what forced this person to judgment. This person went under some type of judgment, karma, or something from the universe because they was forced to look back on how they treated the Empress, how they did her, and why she is putting everything to the end and standing up a fight for herself but now this person can see this person can see clearly now i bet you that they can see that they allow themselves to be trapped when it comes to this connection they have to allow themselves to be stuck mentally i feel like this person was afraid and i know that's just water but it just gave me an image of somebody peeing on themselves and the only way people would pee on themselves not saying your person peed on themselves but you know in the movie they only pee on themselves when they're afraid so that lets me know this person was trapped by fear by fear because i feel like they do want to, when they did want the collaboration but they were trapped by fear that's why they broke free they overcome the obstacles they really thought about it and they overcame the obstacle of fear because even fear wasn't strong enough to keep them back from the love that they have for you that's why we end up with this ace of pentacles tell me about this ace of pentacles that he he is offering to the empress because there is nothing greater Could be in a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Oh. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn woman that you're offering this pinnacle to, or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn woman that you'll be leaving out in the code in order to offer this pinnacle. Mm. Anyway, that's what I got for you, uh, Aquarius, and I do hope it helps. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Namaste.